Okay, we're doing one last quest for today. One no good deed. It's the last quest we're gonna do. Alright, now that you could cover it from your escapades in the pond, there's another location I'd like to search, just outside the park. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be so tired. And it's super light here. The one last quest, and then we're gonna call the day. As you can see, this place is literate with the remains of various types of vermicina. While my comrades and I have already recovered the tanks from the last damage units, those that took a more severe beating are harder to scavenge. We decided to save those for another time, time being now. But I didn't prize them apart, piece by piece. It would be quicker to remove the outer ca casing using compact explosives, so Fluck will gain access to the tanks without rupturing them. Though the force generated by these devices is relatively weak, I would advise you stand well clear to avoid being hit by any shrapnel. Before even bothering though, you should check the machine's cerulean gauge to see if there's any left. It should still provide an accurate reading, even when the unit itself is inactive. If the gauge is broken, I'll let you decide whether to use an explosive or not. Should you need more? Come to me. Okay. Understood, let's get to work. He trusts us a bit more, I have the feeling. I wouldn't say he trusts us a lot, but a bit more. According to the Serum Gacha's unit fuel tank is empty, then let's not use it. The Serum Gacha in this unit appears to have been broken, giving you no way to- Okay, let's use one. After successfully removing the watermark marks after causing or removing the Serum Tank, you find it be completely empty. <laughs> Yay! Good job, me. Third, and this appears to have been broken, giving. Yeah, okay. Let's try one more. You find it to be completely empty. Okay, awesome. Okay, we have those two and that one over there. I need some more. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, let me see. Anything here? Can I interact with that one? No. Okay. Let me see if anything is here. No. I mean, they could have given more than just like two, you know. Music is making me really sad. Garden is broken. Okay, let's not do on the broken one. Or is it only these two left? Empty. Okay, it works. And let's do one on the broken one. Hello. Yeah, let's use one, I guess. Hey! I'm pleased! Nice! It was the last one <laughs> we interacted with. Can't always be the first thing I do, you know? Some sometimes I have to, like, run around a bit. Hi there, I found something. More explosives? Wait, is that what I think it is? Sure is. You've done it again. Truly, luck is on your side. With this, we should be able to refuel quite a few of our heaters. It's time we had her back. Wait here while I go and see how Elise and Alfie know are faring. I could also just, like, go with you. But sure. Da 
What are they discussing? Finally escape the oh. watchful gaze of your keepers, Hadley. Bankrupt. Don't react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. Mm. Okay. After you left with the Garlean lad, mm. Lucia bade a few of us scouts follow you at a discreet distance. They did follow us up. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. Good decision. When you emerged some time later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitech collars, it was clear what had taken place. Mm, yeah. Now, as quietly as you can, tell me everything. The Legatus himself, eh? Now there's a surprise. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the Tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. An interesting development, and perhaps the opportunity we've been waiting for. Perhaps. Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news. Oh? But it's still too early to get our hopes up. What, what was it? Tell me. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Hmm. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. Okay. Sure. Good luck. This will all be over soon. Hmm. Just smile away. They had not gone far. I saw that. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. Yeah. I wasn't expecting much to begin with. Eventually, there will be nothing left out here for us to safely salvage. Mm. For now, this will have to suffice. Let's go back. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the last question you make. Oh, I just old lady needs some sleep. Ah, oh, there you are. Heard you'd gone hunting for ceruleum above ground. Brought back a king's ransom? Yep. Hardly. But thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. For savages, they seem positively docile. Hmm. Bitch. Standing right here. I'm talking uh, about myself, it's yes. It's a poor attempt at humor. I mean, if you see yourself as an In old lady, honesty, too, I mean, for your by all means, but no even judgment. With another night of warmth, there are those among us who may not live to see the morning. Among us. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's the lack of sleep the later it gets the stupid or I say stuff. I trust your expedition was fruitful. Oh, I'm so old by heart. Sweetheart. So old. Lord Quintus! Use what you've procured to refuel the armor. Hmm. Wait, the armor? But, sir, what about the pieces yeah. for the camp? That's why I went outside there and collected shit. The time for action is upon us. I want to punch him. I want to punch this man so bad. My men and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. Maybe you are being watched by us. You ever thought about that, huh? Huh? Time for action. What did he mean by that? Well, he wants to do something with an armor. It. Clearly, something requiring their magitech, given what we just heard. <coughs> Whether they plan to utilize it now or after they join with the tenth is another question.
There's not really a lot of people who would join them, though, if they're all dying. Will they ever escape Good this night, Chris. Bye bye. Return Sleep to well. and reclaim the idyllic spaces of which Eula spoke. Finished your war, Council. Oh, he's not happy with that. Alfino and Alize are to stay here as our prisoners. They will be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. Bitch, what? Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. Bitch, what? Don't you dare lay a oh, finger on them! We've said and done. This is how you treat us. Oh, he's not happy with this. Stupid leader guy is, is, is who is doing bullshit here. Our allies have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm gonna round us, kick Keeping you in the face! Out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. Everything will be alright, have faith. Get them out of here. I hate this. I hate this. I hate Ambalker. I'm gonna come and save you. Don't worry, boys. Alfino and Alice say will be fine, providing they do not resist. Shut up, chat. Shut up. You will accompany me back to your camp, where I will meet you, if, where we meet with your leader and present Lord Quince's demands. Before we depart, however, there is something I would ask of you. Assuming your contingent complies, the supplies of surrender will need to be transported here. That task falls to the legionnaires Marce Marcelinus and Octavia, who will pilot- oh, Octavia hates us. <laughs> Octavia fucking hates us! Who will pilot Megatech armor to your headquarters. You are to inform them that we are leaving shortly. Tell them to ask- Tell them to ask the Isle for further details in those words. Once you've seen to that, meet me by the exit. The, the the cookies were they 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 they, they were there. Oh, it's you. Hi there. You again? Yeah, me again. Hi. I hate it here. As the Isle, he said. <laughs> what 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 does that mean? So that's to be the way of it, after all this. Is this a secret code word of betray? How ironic that you should be the, the one. It is a code word for betraying something, isn't it? It was a Myoris, and so be it, for the glory of Golemold. 
It is, isn't it? Oh, babe, don't fall down. What do you want with me? Betrayal. So what Quintus has reached a decision. Oh, it's maybe not betrayal, never mind. <laughs> I knew he would understand that he would recognize the savage as a ruthless, merciless creature. The savage? And they'll feed him. You two must be uncompromised. Are you supposed to, like, sacrifice yourselves? I am ready, in the name of Emperor Varys, for the glory of Golemald. I will fulfill my duty. Is this some bullshit like we had with with Gaius's kids? Is it that? Is it bullshit like that? Is that type of bullshit, is not? You can't tell me otherwise. It's exactly that. It's not betrayal. It's it's Gaius kids bullshit. I went through that once already. I don't want to do that again. Hey, Lunak. I probably went to sleep. That's okay. I hate it here. This is all terrible. Terrible, I'll tell you. Give me back my twins. They deserve better. So much better. Are you still here? Oh. Have you done as instructed or this? What do you mean by off the aisle? I'm not at liberty to divulge that. What I can say is this. You have no cause for concern if our demands are met. You and I are in this together now. Like it or not, we have to cooperate. There is one other matter, a place I'd like to visit on the way to your camp. It's a short walk from here. Follow me. I don't like being here. I think it's a terrible place to be. Can I just go back to Limzor or something? Like better times, better day. <sighs> Where are we going? To your old house? Is that where you want to go? Because that looks like a mansion that could be your old house. You lose lingers by the ruins, reluctant to leave and reluctant to stay, unable to move on. Or like an old house of a friend? Something like that? This is my home. Mm. Our home. At least it was, until that night. I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell, and thus spared. My family, who did not own a radio, were less fortunate. When dawn came, I made my way here. My parents, my little brother and sister, they were still inside. That's... good? They weren't themselves, oh, and they... They tried to... Oh, oh no. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. I'd promised to take them away from the capital that very morning. To somewhere safe, to hide until the fighting stopped. I promised. Make me emotional when I want to go to bed. The Garlean flag bears a chain. The bonds between our countrymen. Hmm. 
a red link at its center. The blood of the fallen. Our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemont. But if she too fell, who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? Oh no, Pff. they are not even saving us. Sweet sweetheart, sweetheart, no, 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 no. Let's, let's not put these god and primals in there. They don't fucking care. I'm sorry, forget I spoke. No, it's okay. I understand. We should go. No. It's okay. <sighs> it's no use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But she wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do. So cold. Papus. Painfully so. Unbearably. I've been thinking about what Quintus said. About why no one would accept Garlian rule. Irreconcilable differences. When coexistence isn't an option, only conquest remains. Varus at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. United as one people, one race cleansed of imperfections, a cold and unforgiving vision. And when we fail to live up to their standards, what place is there for us in their world? I fall asleep. Fall asleep, that's not good. But the truly sad, truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people and to hells with the rest of you. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? All of us lost in a sea of chaos, searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems. And the most efficient way of solving them, to reduce everything to fundamental forms. A stone is a stone, a cloud a cloud, a flower, no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed, or allegiance, and to some, defined by such associations. Is that what you think? In my misbegotten youth, but what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. 
I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics. To see people as individuals with their own hopes and dreams. As for my dream of building a better world, well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. But it only spurs me onward to find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. Please don't kill him. All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands. And you forgot about the airship. <sighs> oh, come on. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. Hey, that song is so bad. So in the end, not even father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. Not that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course, but ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish he'd realize it too. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand, to refuse to suffer in silence. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... You've found your own reason to fight? Yes. Yes, I have. I love the twins so much. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once and for all. And you, brother, will have a vital part to play. By your words and deeds, you'll lead the way. I pray I am up to the task. I love you lots Thank and you lots and lots. Thank you follow, Liv K. Welcome, Merry Christmas. There'll always be naysayers. Those who think us fools for even trying. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority, all without offering alternatives. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn <laughs> and strong. Stronger than you even know. Don't ever change, you hear me? If you stumble, oh, I'll be there my to heart. Catch you. Or give you a thick ear. Maybe both, for good measure. Thank you, Alize. The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. <sighs> oh, my eyes! They report no casualties, not for their party nor the guards who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. Is Tancred also there? Ha! <laughs> you thought we would leave it our would friends there the to die? Has changed. I propose new terms. <laughs> We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus, and I wish to speak with him in person. Well, I like how this is turning out now. No, 
In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared oh, no. with a second. No. No, don't do this. I don't like how this is turning out again. <laughs> More coming, make ready. We should have stopped when we, I first wanted to stop. The loyal soldiers of the first legion, proud servants of Galima. You guys are so much of a fool. Of the fallen we don't want anything Varys bad. Shall safeguard these lands. From the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return. Stop, both of you. I'm so fucking frustrated. Who was that? But who was that? Oh, thank God. Oh, one sane person. This child may be the worst emissary I've ever seen. <sighs> We received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Oh. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, oh. came to Alamigo and requested an audience. Oh? They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th, and 12th had ended in failure. Wait, wait. The expansion of the airfield is over. Okay. Communication between most legions has broken down entirely. Most of the tenth's conscripts have deserted, leaving their forces severely depleted. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turned to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Some of the fucking Gullias actually can ask for help, huh? Why did we not meet those? Why couldn't we meet them? Lies. Every word. Oh, fuck you. It is the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. Ha! Sorry. You have been listening, my lord? What... What are your orders? Inform her that we will honor the tenth decision. Thank God. Ugh. Bereft of hope and now dignity. Please. Come on. I release you from your duty. All of you. Yeah, that's a smart decision, huh? They're gonna stay, don't they? They're leaving! <gasps> Down! I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. I sure was. Of a world united, of peace and prosperity. Is he gonna off himself now? It sounds like it. Please don't. We are ghosts, you and I. Memories of days gone by. Bonds forged in blood that I will not see tarnished. Don't, don't off yourself, please. <sighs> Why are men so dramatic? Why? <laughs> Axibray. This is terrible. Quickly! We have to reach the station before it's too late. 
could have helped. He had so much knowledge about warfare. If there is still a chance that Quintus will agree to a truce, oh, no, we must take find it. That body to oh God. Oh God. Oh no. I just hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's 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 over. Watch out more as a cure since last few months. As for determining what comes next, you must speak with Lord Quintus. I'm gonna take a break, break to go to the toilet, okay? Um, maybe I got something to drink too. And then, um, yeah, um, let me, let let me, let me, let me go to the toilet, okay? Um, be up. Uh, got something to drink? Maybe something alcoholic? I don't know. Something that will help you. Mm.